All right, what's up, YouTube? I got a uh, farm update for you here. Uh, it's been a while since uh, I've done one of those. Uh, went up to uh, Lafayette today and uh, picked up a new sprayer. Uh, they had them on sale at um, Rural King for uh, 400 bucks for a, uh, a boom sprayer here, uh, 60 gallon. So I was pretty happy to uh, pretty happy to pick that up uh, on sale. It's something we've needed uh, for a while, and I uh, just haven't gotten around to it. Uh, this one folds out to where it's just a little bit wider than the tractor, which is kind of nice. <clears throat> Seems like it's pretty, you know, heavily built and all. Uses a PTO pump, so there's a 10 gallon a minute PTO pump. Uh, and you've just got your pump. Uh, this is the suction line that runs off of the filter down there in the bottom. Uh, here's the pressure side. Runs up here to a pressure regulator. There's your there's your valve. This up here, this bit is extra. I just put a banjo fitting on there, which actually banjo fittings are made locally here in Crawfordsville. Um, I think I'm going to change this to a 90. I just uh, put a straight piece up in here, this, and then a valve where I can run it over to my spray gun here. Um, yeah, that, that was something I kind of bodged together with uh, to where I can use that to uh, spray uh, ditches and stuff. But uh, anyway, it's uh, filling up here, and when I get it all fired up here, I'll uh, uh, take some video of that. So, uh, I really think it's going to be work out pretty well for us. I can just stick it on the front hitch, as you can see here. So yeah, it's on the front hitch of the Deut, so it'll be nice. I can just drive along with the flail and uh, spray simultaneously and try and save some time. Uh, oh yeah, and yeah, also, uh, yeah, this valve down here actuates the... Uh, the front, um, the front spray nozzles. So that'll be uh, nice if we want to treat a uh, treat our field with a uh, crossbow or 24D or something. Uh, we got to our plants are looking pretty good. So we're gonna stick this stuff in the ground here for two, before too long. Uh, I'm hoping this weekend it'll stay dry and we can actually get them in the ground. We've got uh, a ton of tomatoes, uh, a bunch of eggplants. Uh, those are the tomatoes I've been selling at the farmers market. Uh, some pumpkins over here that are kind of outgrowing their pots, and our uh, our peppers, and uh, more eggplants, peppers, and uh, tomatoes. Uh, I guess I can go in the greenhouse here and show you. We've got uh, some herbs out. Uh, got a big flat of basil over here, and uh, then uh, actually having pretty good luck. Uh, well, actually, I guess the the, zuc the zucchinis were the best uh, best sellers at the, at the farmers market so far. The uh, they really uh, did well potting these up for us uh, and if everything goes well this year I think we're gonna expand out and try and do more uh, next year and see uh, see how this stuff goes and try and pay for our farming habit here but oh my sprayer is almost full so I guess I can go turn the water off and test it out before I put any chemical in it I don't really want to charge it up with a crossbow and then uh, find out later that uh, I've got leaks or something like that and have to monkey with it while it's, when it's got uh, oh when it's got chemical in it but I uh, guess I can do this with the camera on here all right that valve is off my regulator is out uh, I guess I'll leave that off all righty let me fire up the tractor here See if I can do this in one take here. Charger's in neutral. Alright, here's the front PTO lever down here. Slowly. Go check everything up here. Well, my pump's spinning. Not sure really what's happening here. I got lots of bubbles. Oh, turn the pressure regulator on, I suppose. <laughs> not really sure it looks like I got bubbles here so I got flow going back into the tank 
think maybe my suction uh, maybe my suction line is uh, kinked. I don't know. I'm gonna go play with this and uh, see what's going on here. Alrighty, what's up YouTube? So, uh, depending on the rotation of the pump, uh, yeah, the in can also be the out. I uh, learned uh, uh, that is a, uh, you know, bi-directional pump depending on which way you spin it. So, oop, I had it hooked up backwards. Anyway, let me show you what uh, this thing can do here. It just runs off the front three point, or uh, front PTO. Uh, it's got uh, pretty impressive uh, reach here. You can vary your uh, pressure with this regulator here. Turn it on here. There's the uh, sprayers. And you can have it uh, set for whatever you want. Actually, they get out uh, pretty far there. You turn those off. You turn on the uh, handheld sprayer here. Now this is the probably the baddest super soaker or super soaker I've ever seen. It uh, it gets out there pretty far, and you can adjust it down to a pretty nice mist here, and you can do volt, which is really nice. I picked this up at Rural King, or excuse me, not the Rural King Thrifties. It's called the Super Jet Spray Gun. Um, works pretty well. Nice, uh, nice. This pump will actually. Great, or actually has enough flow to power them both simultaneously, and that's even with the tractor at idle. So it has enough loop to uh, run all the nozzles plus this at the same time. So that'll be nice when we're out uh, dosing the field or dosing, uh, you know, our uh, pasture with a uh, 2,4-D to get rid of the weeds and leave the grass. But I'm pretty, uh, pretty excited. Uh, this is uh, going to work out pretty well for us. So you get uh, a little uh, few odds and ends here I need to fix. I got a couple of weeks I want to uh, turn the tractor off so you can hear me here. A couple of leaks I need to patch up, uh, or rather mess with. This one, uh, this leaks here when the pressure gets over about 200 PSI. I need to make a uh, deal that uh, actually holds this. Uh, right now it's just kind of sitting there uh, and the only thing holding it in place was uh, that fitting which I don't really like and also on the other side my fitting was leaking a bit yeah this was leaking when it goes into the goes into the pump housing there but hey it's uh this is gonna work out pretty well for us it just fits on the front three point there and uh, this is gonna be really nice I think I'm gonna change this to a 90 I'm afraid I'm gonna break that off so I'm gonna change that to a 90 where it comes out to the side here and I can just drape the hose back up on the tractor and just drive and spray at the same time. So, there we have it. It's the Rural King 60 gallon boom sprayer. I'm uh, pretty happy with it. I'd say uh, it is a pretty nice piece of machinery. It was uh, pretty cheap. I got it on sale for 400 bucks. And um, I think it's going to serve us pretty well. So, there you have it. The, uh, let me back away here so you can see it. The sprayer on the front of the Deutz there. And so this is kind of handy with the uh, front three point where I can uh, just drive and spray at the same time when I'm flailing. But anyway, there you have it.